Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal. We are here again, literally directly from the prior episode. Yep, I pressed, pressed the stop and I went straight on to start. That's right. Me. You good, fame? Whee! Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. Uh. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Big word, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower it. Uh -huh. Hmm. Broke my leg. Also, I am trying to get my hands on a Guitar Hero guitar. Potentially, Clone Heroes is coming to the channel. I quite like the game. You know? I need a cube thing. <laughs> I made it. Oh, okay. Let's see how it is. Blip. Can I just... No... It'd be like that sometimes. Quick action portal gameplay! Kill me. Ow. Yo. That's your eagle. Alright then. Let's do the style. <laughs> yep, not Texas stylist, let's do it style. Engineer is now a hair stylist. Thank you. I'm flattered. Hello. Apparently, I'm majestic. It makes me happy. Hmm. Hey. For this next test, I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday, I saw a deer. If you saw this next test. Maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Huh. It's this test. Oh. The yeet wasn't yeeted enough. The yeet wasn't yeety. I'm going to yeet myself. <laughs> that was enjoyable to watch. Ah. Wait, oh, I can just go behind this. Whatever. 
Okay, so that one's a bit of that. Okay. What? Five minutes later. Oh, right. Yeah. So now if I step down for sure. Get up replacement. Place orange portal there. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. I swear to heck. <laughs> that was fun. Well, you passed the test. Thank you. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. I'm so happy about this particular video quality record. You get the point. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Oh no! Okay. Oh, it's a tunnel now, okay. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> funny. You're a funny, funny guy. Searching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Oh. Actually, no. Dinosaurs do it. Ha! And actually, humans do it as well, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, wow, this is already at 11 minutes. Hmm, decent. Good news. 
Hmm? I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey, hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. Up ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. Alright. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Oh, I'm saying this, I'm saying it. Flawless. Silently meows in the corner. Well done. Thank you. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file. Hey. In the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. Oh. I that says subject performed well under pressure. Okay, maybe not. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? Mm. They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Try me. I land at the top. Pacifist. No, I killed one. I will do this without a single turret killed. I will. Damn it! Okay, and this guy's gone. It looks like it's turned into a neutral. I can save two turrets. I can save two. I can save two. I'm never saving two. Oh. Oh, I wonder if you can make this jump. Nope. Okay. I'm sorry, I want I want a little too much. I'm trying to get more comfortable in my chair, I think. Comfy. 
To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. Oh, okay. I thought you'd want to know. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Commit die. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working mm. on a belated birthday present for you. Oh. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, oh. technically, anyway, it's that's a bit better. experiment. Oh. What's important is it's a present. Yeah, in your eyes at least. In my eyes, there might be a less of a present. Whew, this is going to be four episodes rec recorded in one day. Don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing any cutting, at least. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. Thanks. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. What? No, you're not. You sure I can't pull to her? Do you even need to do half of this? Yes, yeah, you do. I'm James Bond. Okay. subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. 
So that's interesting. Let's it's appearance. But, but, but they're dead, aren't they, John? Hey, they're busy in their name. They ain't moving and stuff. There ain't no bottom there, vines. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> this would be impossible to do pacifistly. This game is impossible to do pacifist. Blah. Maybe minimal death. I have no idea what that was. I'm gonna be honest with you. I kinda wanna. I kinda wanna know as well. I'm interested. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Hey. Immune for doing garbage tests. Right, it's this test. All right, there we go. I should do it. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. I know why I'm too. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? David and David S. The surprise! The surprise is this recording's ending! You get it? It's a good surprise, right? It's a really good surprise. Anyway, I'm, I'm, making, I'm just staring at the mic right now. <laughs> staring at the mic to finish the recording. If you like what you saw here today, maybe, uh, and then press the subscribe button right there. Mmm. Well, I'm actually actually happy how fast is, how nice this channel's growing. I'm proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. I wasn't ready to finish the recording. <laughs>